Greetings friends, welcome to the Dev Me, JMac, the Red Island Chamber. So glad to have you guys all aboard for the midweek video. And today we're gonna to be talking about Shavettes and how my uh, how my thoughts on Shavettes have changed over the last couple of years. But uh, before we get into that, uh, I want to give a shout out to my man Matty Lindholm. I'm gonna be using some MLS products here today, um, including this uh, beautiful Ecto Cooler soap. Make sure I got that right side up. Do I have that right side up? No, I do not. There you go. Ecto Cooler, nice orange and menthol, nice citrus blast today. So we'll get putting the cube on and we'll get into the shape. But yes, a shout out to Maddie, the maestro of the Shavettes and the straight razors. I see that he is encroaching on a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So uh, link to Maddie's channel down below. If you're not subscribed to, uh, to Maddie yet, uh, do Maddie and myself a favor. And go on over and subscribe to him. Uh, great fella. Really, really great fella, actually. Awesome guy. Proud to call my brother. And uh, it's an awesome, awesome channel. And if you are in to straight razors or shavettes, he is a man to watch. So we'll get this cube worked into the whiskers. A day's worth of growth. I've actually been, been shaving daily now that I'm using the shavettes. And... To reiterate, it is not a knock. This is not a knock on my uh, on my DEs. I love my DEs. I just can't daily drive with a DE. Even you know, even my premium, my premium, super super good. You know, carves, Dracant, Yates. I just I can't daily drive with them. But 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 but. but if I use a Shavette and use any of those DEs, whether it's the carved C-plate, open comb C-plate, the Overlander, the Jacant in the original plate, the Yates 921M, TRC Razor, Gillette Fat Boy, on and on and on, I can get daily BBS shaves with no irritation. My face just likes to be shaved with a Shavette for some reason. Maybe it's the shallow angle, I don't know. But we are going to get into it. So I do have a lather all pre-whipped up my scuttle with my MLS brush. And this is the Ecto Cooler. Nice hot lather. A little bit of menthol. This is gonna be that's gonna be nice. Uh, nice scent. Nice soap too. Maddie's uh, soaps fairly simple on the ingredients list. Uh, but they're actually really, really good soaps. Very, very slick. They don't leave my face dry. It's 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 a good soap, but it's definitely slick because uh, I said Maddie is a straight razor shaver. It's a shave head shaver. He wants something that's slick, and as we all do, especially if you're using a blade. And these are definitely slick. And oh yeah, it's nice and warm. Nice and warm. I think that's also been another. Another factor in getting the good shaves is I probably was getting a bit of brush burn. Maybe a hint of it. It wasn't, I don't think it was a serious amount of brush burn, but there was definitely some brush burn happening, I think. Uh, now just doing a little bit of a scrub is helping. All right, so into the meat and potatoes of today's topic. Shavettes, how my opinion on shavettes has changed. So, you know, I am but a mere mortal like everybody else. I have opinions on things. And I give those opinions here on, uh, on YouTube and on Instagram and such. And we're going with the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel with a fourth use Feather Professional. So I give my opinions on things and such. And, you know, at the end of the day, those are just my opinions. You can take what I say, uh, you know, with a grain of salt. You can inform your own opinions and that's kind of what it's all about we put information out there you guys can take the information do your own research from your own opinions so earlier on a few years quite a few years back I was kind of under the impression that you should not learn how to straight razor shave with shavette And I'm going to caveat that by saying 
there's still certain shave vets I don't think you should start with if you're going to learn. I'm going to try and not make this sound like an advertisement. Um, but my way of thinking has changed. And the reason my way of thinking has changed is I've come to one simple, simple conclusion over the years. The one, one big, the one disadvantage I would say to a Shavet is the fact they are so sharp. They're mechanically sharp, right? So that that could be kind of a steep, a steep learning curve on top of the other learning curve when you're, you're trying to learn how to straight raise your shave. So you, you got to be cognizant of that. It's it's going to be sharper and a little and less forgiving than an actual straight, but but that that disadvantage turns into an advantage. And this is the thing that I never really clued in and, you know, kind of got cognizant about. Um, you could just take the blade out of the shave head and you can practice. So, you know, you can lather up when you're bored. We all have tons of soap. So lather up your face, take your shave head, pop your blade out, whatever shave head it is, practice your strokes, practice your, you know, you practice your you're with the grain practice your across the grain practice your against the grain practice the movements you need to make and you can do that all without a blade in safety well something you can't do with a straight razor because well that blade is it's always there so so I think I think in that regard they are a great learning tool now I'm also going to caveat I know I know it's tough I, I, guys, I, I know it's tough. I know you know money is tight for a lot of people. I know when you're getting started out, you know cost is cost is a thing. You know I, I get that. I, I'm in the same boat. I'm definitely in that same boat. But what I would suggest is to try. Try and steer clear away from the entry level, super cheap, half DE blade shavettes. For the, for the love of God, spend, spend a little bit of money if you can. Save up, spend a little bit of money on something decent. Um, Cause those half blade DEs are just, especially the cheap ones, they're just no good. They're, just, they're, they're not, they're not going to give you a shave that you that you want. And like I said, I'm not going to try and sell you anything, so I'm not going to mention any retailers in this video. I'm not going to steer you really towards any, any one product, but just do a bit of research, spend, save up, spend a little bit of money on something really, really good that you're going to want to learn with and, and stick with, and plus it's safe. So I'll do this past and we'll point out a couple things here. One of the ways people get cut all the time with a with a half blade shave at, especially the super cheap ones, like the clamping method ones, they get cut with the points of the blade. They don't actually get cut with the blade itself, they get cut with the points of the blade because when you're learning, you don't know about angles, so when you're trying to you're trying to shave you may angle that toe in quite a bit and you're not noticing it because you know, you're not used to shaving and then as soon as you angle that toe in too much and you cock it in you get yourself cut with the point of that blade so it's one of the reasons i love the feathers i don't know if you can see on here get that to focus but the heel and the toe of an ac blade is rounded so there's no point on one of these also you guys know I said it a thousand times, I'll say it again. I really like this Focus Shavette. I know they're expensive, it's like 70 bucks Canadian, but once again, if you can see there, the heel and the toe of that blade are protected by the Shavette. So, I mean, 
let's be honest, with the price of everything going up, a cheap Chevette isn't even that cheap anymore. Even the cheap, even the cheap Parker ones are probably like 20 bucks now, 20 some bucks, maybe. Save up another 40 bucks, you need a focus. So that'd be my advice. Um, yeah, that'd be my advice. Stay away from the cheap things, because if, if you're really, if you're really interested in learning and you want to learn, you'll stick with it. So buy something you're going to want to learn with, uh, and something that's not going to injure you more than you may already injure yourself. I mean, let's be honest. When you're learning how to use one of these, you're going to bleed. That's it's all there is to it. We've all, we've all done it. Heck, some of us still bleed every now and again just to keep us honest, right? So. I almost feel as if I'm ranting at this point. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. But yeah, um, so yeah, back to the original point. I think a shavette is a perfectly viable tool for learning how to straight razor shave. Just be cognizant of the fact these are very, very sharp. I think now with my experience, I think that's another plus. You don't have to worry about a machined blade being shave ready. It's shave ready right from the get go. Um, you don't need to use as much pressure if the, uh, you know, with, with these, with a fresh blade, you don't need to use any pressure. You know, is it like a straight, if it's starting to get a little bit of dull or tuggy? With this, it's, it's rock solid right from the get go, it starts to get dull, toss it, put a new blade in. You're back to just gliding through whiskers. Like this right here. No pressure there. Nice shallow angle and that's just sliding right through the hair. Beautiful. So yes, don't be afraid of the shavettes for for your uh, your learning experience. Plenty of us out here on YouTube and Instagram. We'd love to help you guys out if you're getting into straight razor shaving. Don't hesitate to ask. Um, we'll help you through. Uh, we all start at the same, and uh, you know we like we like helping new people get into it because I think it's a I think it's a great way to shave. I've been so invigorated by getting back into it and I'm getting fantastic shaves like I said daily shaving so I'm going to go with this beautiful MLS 21 this is Medi Lindholm razor with a people's blade in here for my cleanup I don't usually put the cleanup on screen but today we will and also don't be afraid to grab DE for your cleanup I do every shave. I got this sideways growth. But I can't get any other way. Right in through here. There we go. And I'll just do this quick. These weird angles that I have to get, I can't get with a straight. And that's feeling pretty close to BBS right there. Don't want to overshave. Remember, your skin is gonna tighten. Your skin is gonna tight. Yeah, it's gonna tighten up a little bit when you're done with your shave. It's gonna, you know, what may feel like hair sometimes isn't actually hair. I'll just get this little area right here. Razor in a while, so I just kind of 
figuring out the angle here. That feels pretty good. Towards the ear a little bit. That just cleans all of that up. Yeah, that's gonna be good. That's gonna tighten up into a that's gonna tighten up into a really good BBS. So I'm gonna get my lather mittens on, something else I've been doing lately, just because my skin gets so sensitive from shaving and I've, I've added this back into the den or into the into the routine. Just pull all that lather out of the knot. We like to call this lather mittens. Just give yourself a nice little face wash because now I'm gonna clean everything up, dry my brush, put the razors away, dry them, put them away. So that's gonna take some time. So while I'm doing that, I leave this on the face to moisturize. And then when I rinse it off with that super cold rinse, it just feels decadent. All right, so I'm gonna cut this here. We're gonna do the cleanup and then we'll be back with the splash. All right, and we are back. Nice super cold water rinse with that uh, mentholated soap that was sitting on the face. It felt very nice actually. I'll dry off with this uh, TRC microfiber towel. Thank you to Mosey Vintage Head Shaver. I won this uh, from him on a, on a live. Great towel. I now have two. I have uh, the TRC and I have the Lancaster Razor Works towel. I use that for my brushes. I use this for my face. It's all good in the hood. So uh, yeah, if you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. You absolute legends. Love yous all. And uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully you took something away from this video. Uh, hopefully I didn't rant too much. Go give Maddie a subscription. I know he would appreciate it. Let's get him to a thousand. And uh, so the final point, as we put on this uh, orange aftershave uh, splum, this is a, a a splash that is like a it's a bomb. It's like a splash. So uh, I guess to reiterate, um, yeah, if you want to get into straight razor shaving, you're worried about getting into straights and then maintenance and strops. Yeah, get a shave at. I think. I think that'll do you well. And I am always happy to help. As we try and get this splash on here. I'm always happy to help. Uh, either with tips, techniques, purchasing your first your first razor. Uh, what to look for, what to avoid, what to buy, whatnot. Um, Blades, if you're going with an AC style blade or an AC style shavette, what type of blades might be suited for your beard, etc. etc. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out. I love helping people out when I can. That's literally what I live for each and every day. I, I like to help people as much as I can. So, um, links to my Instagram down below or the Canadian Mafia show. You can Reach out to the Canadian Mafia show on Instagram. I am the one that runs that account, or I'm the one that responds to the messages. So, so yeah, just reach out, and uh, we'd be happy to help you. And actually, all the guys in the Canadian Mafia are experienced straight razor shavers or shavette shavers. So, yeah, there's a wealth of knowledge there as well to help you guys out. So anyway, just do it if you're if you're curious. Just jump in and just do it. So that'll do it for this one, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch these videos. So until the next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another. Have a great day, need better shave. We'll catch you in the next one. Remember, you are never alone and peace.